those sweet, sweet Selkirks. It's been a terrible start to the season, but it's still pretty good here. A high rain line has really doubting where we should go, but we headed up Mount Rogers to get up as high as we could and hopefully find some great snow. On the way up, Mark digs a quick, hasty pit to take a look at how the layers are interacting. They're stable, so we go higher. I haven't been up Mount Rogers in over four years. It's such an amazing summit and such an amazing line. I don't know what I've been doing. I mean, this is such a classic climb. It's so gorgeous. Glad to be here today. feels so good to be up here. The summit ridge is this amazing exposed ridge where as you tour along it you can look thousands of feet down the north face or thousands of feet down the southwest face. What a spot. Super fun turns off the summit. You carve on the left, your snow falls down the north, you carve on the right, it falls down the southwest. How cool is that? As we'd hoped, the turns were great. A little wind hardened at the top, but as we ease into the face, the powder just gets better and better. Not deep, but fast, carvable, so satisfying. Out of the 6,300 feet we toured, 4,000 of it was amazing. 500 feet of it was okay. And 1,800 feet of it was pretty crappy. But hey, it's early season. We had some great turns. Frank, feeling the best he's felt in nine years. December 7th is always an ode to all those that have fallen. We come out here and relive the avalanche that Frank lived through years ago. Enjoy some turns for all those who can't. The mountains are very dangerous. But quite often these highways are even more dangerous. A frequent sight is semis in the ditch upside down. As most experienced skiers know, the ski cut is essential. You generally ski cut where you imagine the slab to peel out, where you can see that it's more loaded. And you aim for the weakest spot, hoping to trigger it and remove the hazard. In that way, you can continue skiing down knowing there's nothing above you. In this situation, Aaron has already removed some of the hazard, but there's still some hang fire. So Joey tries to trigger it. It doesn't go, and then he skis, and he skis to a safe spot that he already pre-planned. As you ski down the slope, you try to trigger any little pocket you can see, and that way you know that nothing is going to come up from behind you, and you can enjoy your turns. Well, the sweet Selkirks satisfy our souls as we search for powder. And I wish you all a happy holidays. Hopefully wherever you are, you get a white Christmas, you get some great presents and some great turns. Whoa. See you in the new year. Whoa.